certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with meteorologist Sabian Colon. Good evening, everybody. Another hot start to your weekend with temperatures in the low to mid 90s. But right now, look at our Syntex roof system sky tracker out here in Woodway with mostly clear skies. Temperatures checking in right now at 83 degrees with a southerly wind at 13 miles an hour. And look at that humidity, 33%. This Saturday night is shaping up to be a pretty great night. Temperatures in the 80s, some light breezes, and low humidity is going to be a great night. Going now to our other temperatures, it's 74 degrees in Mejia, 79 in Temple. And 78 down in Clean. The Brass Valley, upper 70s, lower 80s, 80 in College Station, and 77 in Hearn. And going now to our satellite loop. Nothing really going on in Central Texas or the entirety of Texas as well. We do have this low pressure system that's going to work its way into Central Texas. We're going to have a stationary front to the east and a cold front to the west. That's going to work its way and bring a drier air and cooler temperatures in these next couple of days. But we still have a high pressure system along. Off, which is giving us a dome over Texas to really ward off all of the weather and the clouds for these next couple of days. But now going to our future cast, we're starting here at midnight. Temperatures are in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So again, a great night to go out for Saturday night. As we put this into motion, we get into your Sunday morning. Temperatures start to drop into the low 60s. You do have some clouds along the I-35 corridor and down towards the Braz Valley, but mostly clear skies to start your Sunday. As we go into the afternoon of that Sunday, temperatures warm up very quickly because then we have that dry air. We warm up quickly, but we cool down very quickly as well into the low 90s. As we go into the evening hours of that Sunday, look at these temperatures. Triple digits, 101 in Waco, 100 in Temple, as well as Mejia, and 100 in Gatesville. Very warm temperatures for that time of year. Our average again is 82 degrees for this time of year. Also, if we do hit 100 degrees, this is going to be the longest when we going to hit 100 degrees a 13th instead of the 12th, which is today. So potential breaking some records as we put this into motion. We go into the overnight hours of that Sunday into that to Monday morning. That front works its way into the area and slides down towards the south. And we're starting that Monday morning with temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s as we go into the afternoon and the after becomes the evening hours of that Monday. We do have some clouds along the northern portions of our viewing area, but at that five o'clock hour, we're going to feel a little bit like fall again with temperatures and the low to mid 80s with mostly sunny skies. But for tonight, we're going to keep it cool. We're going to keep it clear. 66 degrees, mostly clear skies and the wind out of the south at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And tomorrow, 100 degrees, plenty of sunshine with a southwesterly wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So we're going to crank up the temperatures as well as the wind for tomorrow's potential breaking some records. And here's the rest of your long range 10 day forecast. Again, a record set back in 1991 is 96 degrees. We could potentially break that record tomorrow 100 degrees. Then we have that fall front coming in to drop those temperatures down to 90 on Monday and Tuesday. And look at that Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, 85 degrees and Thursday feeling like fall. Plenty of sunshine and 84 degrees. And then we get to that Friday, a slight chance, a 20% chance of those showers. I would not rule out any type of plans on that Friday with broken cloud conditions. And then we get to Saturday, which is the Alzheimer's walk, 84 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Then we round off your weekend with 87 degrees, plenty of sunshine, overnight lows in between the upper 50s and lower 60s. And if you're going down south to the Braz Valley, not as warm as Waco Temple and clean 96 degrees on that Sunday. And then that front moves in 94 degrees Sunday. Or sorry, sunny conditions at 93 degrees on that Tuesday. And look at that on Wednesday, 83 degrees on Thursday as well. And then we got a slight chance of showers at 20% on that Friday, 85 degrees. And the Alzheimer's walk, 85 degrees. Overnight lows in between the upper 50s and lower 60s. It's cooling down. It felt great today, but that sun is still brutal. Cooling down. It's, 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 it was 96 degrees today. Uh, but 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 cooling down. I mean, yes. Technically, it is starting to cool down. Yes, we're we're exactly. getting there. That fall, fall front, feeling, it's working. It, it just takes a little bit. It takes a little time right, to work right. into it. But we're finally right. going to not see any more 90s, hopefully, <sighs> as we get to that Wednesday and Tuesday. I mean, we'll try our best. I'll try my best <laughs> to get the 80s into our area, but, you know. Yeah, tell the mother gods up there to I, get I, I together. Only, I only have so much pull up in the, the weather gods area, so <laughs> I'll try awesome. my best. That's awesome, right? Good deal. Thanks, Dave.